Hi, you're watching Movie Guide. I'm Evie Barrett, and we're on the red carpet in Hollywood at Delivery Man, where a man learns to truly be a father. Of course, the way we the way we decide to treat this subject, it's a humorous, it's a, it's a it's a comedy, but there's some serious topic also that it addresses in the movie. So it's definitely something that we need to discuss. Uh, maybe maybe it's time to put some rule, because I don't think it's it's good to make a movie, but I don't think it's right to have a father who can have 533 kids, you know. So we'll see how Vince will react when he heard about the, that news. Yeah, but I think it's awesome that he decides to step up to the plate of being it, a father. It's fantastic. I think it's the it's the thing to do, and uh, I'm sure like in the, in the movie you'll see the the, the kid the, they 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 thank him because they don't see him as a monster. There is a scene at the end where they say that we don't see you as a monster. We see you as a man who bring life and hope and happiness to a lot of people. So I think it's great. Well, that's it, this is why we made the movie. Um, the underpinnings, especially for the holiday season, what does it take to be a parent? In this case, a father. Um, even if you don't know these kids, do you step up to the plate? What is it? What do you have to do? And even the Chris Pratt character is a different, you know, the different father involved in this. So it's all about fatherhood, what it takes to be a father, what it takes to be parents, and what it takes to be in the bad times as well as the good times. It's clearly a comedy and lots of laughs, but it also has the heart that I think carries you through the difficulties that you always face as a parent. Yeah, and it seems like he genuinely wants to give to his children that he hasn't even met before. It is, I think it is the innate um, aspect of a human being. When you know that it's your child, you instantly want to give and want to be a part of their life, and that's where he becomes the guardian angel to 533 kids. <laughs> so your character really leads the charge on finding his father. Um, I think that's a really interesting and pertinent thing during this time, yeah. day and age. What do you think about, like, that it says about today? Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, there's a, I don't know, going to court, cuss the, you know, Judge Judy and all that stuff. There's a lot of courtroom stuff that's going on, and I think the story makes a lot of sense, like with today's times and stuff. And um, I think it's cool the way Ken, this director Ken Scott, approached like approached this whole legal battle because it could have gotten really ugly, you know, like a lot of things get really ugly yeah. with that. And um, it's just instead of being ugly, it's just it's really warm and just heartfelt. And and Vince does an amazing job of just like carrying so much like emotion and just and just drama on his back it's it's really cool to see so what do you think this movie tells about fatherhood i mean he really steps up to the plate as a father yeah he does for a lot of people uh it can be done yeah it can be done it, it, how hard having one kid nonetheless 533 <laughs> but he seems to have a good heart about it yeah well that's the best part i think he's you know he's kind of a screw up but he means well yeah yeah and tell us a little bit about your character because I play Lexi. I play his younger brother. Uh, we're the Wozniak family. Uh, we all work at a meat store, and uh, I'm kind of the voice of reason in the family. Yeah. Yeah. Give us some voice of reason. Wow. <laughs> I think my advice to him is just like stop being you, essentially. <laughs> okay. And get better. And he also talks about a lot of like purpose and finding your purpose. Do you feel like you found an absolute purpose, and what have you found? In in life. In life. Just in life? the big scope of life. Wow, that's a that's the biggest question I've gotten all day. Um, yeah, just be happy, be happy, and be nice to people, right? That's a good one. Everything would be okay. <laughs> Pretty sure that will work. I'm gonna be president someday, based on that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And it's interesting about like the connection with between family. And your character really steps up as a father. Yeah, you know, I mean that's. You know, I think what's nice about the character in the film is he has such a capacity to love. Um, makes him an interesting guy to follow in the movie. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yes, uh, I play Emma in The Delivery Man, and uh, she is a New York City cop, so she's very tough, she's very st strong, she's very resilient. And uh, she is currently dating uh, David Wozniak, who is none of those things, uh, if, if, if in fact the complete opposite. Um, and she, I feel like she starts this relationship because she, she's, he's, He's very charming and he's very lovable, um, but she wishes that things would, he would change a little bit. And what forces that change to happen is she gets pregnant with his baby. So um, she kind of gives him an ultimatum saying, listen, you can, you can change the, your ways and, and join me and be a father to this baby or get out of my life. Why do you think that's... Oh my gosh. I think there was like a million business yes. questions. Yes, yeah, okay. 
Just you just shouted Vince. Why do you think that's like an important topic during this time period right now? I'm sorry, say it again. Why do you think that's an important topic during this time period right now? The, the topic of the yeah. movie? Well, yes, well, I mean, I think that it's it really showcases the varying families. I mean, uh, this movie is about sperm donation, but uh, sperm do donation has allowed so many families to have children. And... Uh, and it's sort of it's kind of a beautiful thing. And in our film, we sort of do a little twist on it. Um, but but yeah, it showcases family in, in all of its positives and negatives. If you're willing to make someone else's happiness your priority, there's a spiritual reward in that. I think it, it feels good in your soul to to be responsible for someone else to help uh, be responsible for someone else's happiness. What do you think is your reward about this father? Probably the same thing. Uh, that and and and. Uh, Seeing seeing the world through someone else's eyes, it's everything seems brand new again. Reinvigorating your enthusiasm for the littlest things that you may have taken for granted. Sounds interesting. Now take a look at the full review at MovieGuide.org.